off my energy use right now. There you go. It don't sing very long, do it? Yellow. I believe my ears. Y'all hear the, the, do y'all hear it? It sound like the sunrise. Anywho, I got some dishes to wash real quick. So, that's a new set of bowls. And I'm trying to get used to, you know, using them or whatever, because they're new. Um, I had an other one. It was a brass bowl. A brass bowl is really difficult to play. If you can make the brass bowl sing, then you can pretty much make any bowl sing. Because that brass bowl is tough. You have to concentrate, right? Okay, but that's not what I'm here for. I want to talk to y'all about something real quick. So, I done had to go and re 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 revisit some of my older studies. Now, I ain't tried this. I don't think I necessarily will because I don't want to. Like, but there are people out here that do this. And I know y'all hear a lot of stuff about sex magic, right? Which I hear about sex magic ain't even the tip of the iceberg when it comes to sell uh, um, sex magic. <laughs> sex magic is a very dark practice, okay? But don't get it twisted. You can do some dark ass magic but be illuminating light, okay? It's very possible. You'll be long way down in your studies. Before you master that particular concept. But yeah, it's possible. But. I want to talk about it. Because. <clears throat> I had a conversation. Earlier today. And there was some things said. In the conversation. That made me remember this. I had to pick my shit up. And go look. Now. The question begins. 
to me. Okay, so before I put the question out, I probably should tell y'all what I'm talking about. So, um, there is a way to do a soul transference through sex. Okay, so the particular person that did this was a female, but she transferred her soul into a male's body. <clears throat> and before it was done, the soul of the man that was taken was extracted by her literally sucking the life not the life the soul out of him okay sucked it out oral sex and put it in a circle okay now not going into details because you start talking about shit like these people want to go out here and try it like some damn dummies. That's just part of the whole ritual. Okay. So. It led me to wonder. Is. A soul transference. If you are a female. Can you only transfer the soul. To a male body. Or can you do so with another female body? <clears throat> That'll be something I'll be looking into. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. Um, sex magic is not <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. It is not. Okay? It is not. Alright. It is a dark. Dark, 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 practice. However, y'all know how it goes. You always be in talk. Nothing without intention. So, the intention. <clears throat> dark or light. When you get higher into your magic, then you will realize dark and light are just concepts to explain polarity. And really, it just is what the fuck it is. Like, no true statement has been made. It is what it is. Be it good, be it bad, be it dark, be it light, it simply is what it is. And that is what is one of the main principles in a lot of African traditional religions. It simply is what it is. And a lot of the initiations and the teachings that you will go through will teach you it simply is what it is. Now, you know, there will be people out there that will try to scare you and to believe in certain things because you know if it's their agenda to scare you they can scare your ass into giving them your money they can scare you into doing some shit you don't want to do because the shit you don't want to do benefits them but I'm just here to let y'all know all these when you get to your climax you think of Yo, what you trying to manifest and definitely, yo, that's, that is preschool playtime compared to what the fuck sex magic is, okay? Some of you may have heard about, you know, sex rights. Shit like that. matter of fact, one of the sex rights, one one of the um ritual things to become a witch is a sex right. Now that's easily discoverable. 
So if you want to find out what that is, hey, you can Google it. You'll find it out. It's there. But uh, sex is a powerful tool. Okay? And everybody ain't meant to go walking down the trail. Alright? So, I would advise many who claim to be working with sex magic to not be fucking around with sex magic and telling folks that you do sex magic because you're going to come up on one of them sex magic magicians and they got some shit for your ass, okay? And if you don't know what you're doing, trust me, they do, okay? There are a lots of sex, sex rights and things of that nature. Sex magic is a very, very, very occult practice. Very occult. It's very, it's very dark and very secretive. Okay. Um. There, I say, you really have to be chosen in order to embark upon that path. Um. Some of y'all might have heard of um the sacred whores. Sacred whores lived in the temple. Some sacred whores was actually uh, oracles because sex is not necessarily a thing of pleasure okay you can heal through sex you can destroy through sex it's a lot of destruction through sex going on and thank god people are not privy to these magics because oh hell our hell break loose on the planet but it was interesting to me how this soul transference was happening through sucking the man's dick. It was just really interesting to me for the conversation that I had. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with y'all. <laughs> y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. See you next video, my lovelies.